Hola a todos, bienvenidos a la clase de español. Good morning everyone, welcome to Spanish class. The first thing that I would like you to do before we start today's lesson is I'd like you to watch this video of Dory speaking whale. Um, because I want you to be like Dory. So go away and watch the video. And then when you've watched the video, come back and watch the rest of our tutorial. See you later. Okay, so you should have by now watched Dory. And one of the things that I love about Dory when she speaks whale is that she just goes for it. She doesn't worry about whether or not she's making a mistake. She's thinking very hard about the whale listening to her. She says, oh, maybe I need a little bit more humpback or maybe a little bit too much orca. So she's very, very confident. Does she make mistakes? Yes, probably she does, but she makes herself understood. And we know she makes herself understood because the whale gives her and Marlin a lift to Sydney to find Nemo. So when you're speaking Spanish today for today's activity, I want you to be like Dory. I want you to be really confident. Don't be afraid of making mistakes. I'm going to understand you. Nobody's going to listen to this except for you and me. So just go for it. Mistakes are brilliant. That's how we learn. So you need to make as many mistakes as you can and then I'll give you some feedback and then you'll you'll understand where your mistakes lie and how you can avoid them in the future. Okay, but just go for it. Just enjoy speaking Spanish because Language is all about making yourself understood. Okay, so we're doing a little mini expedition this week, and this is what our final product is going to be. <clears throat> we are going to be talking about ourselves. So this is something that I've written, and I've written it because I don't want to have to memorize it. I want to be able to practice it so that I sound really confident. And um, I wanted to take the time to think about how much information I wanted to give. So let me turn on my pointer. I'm going to read this to you in Spanish, and then I'm going to tell you what it means in English, and then I'm going to tell you how you're going to produce something similar. Okay? So I'm going to start by reading. Hola, me llamo Vicky. Tengo un gato negro. Tengo los ojos azules y el pelo castaño. Y corto. Soy bastante alta. Vivo en Doncaster con mi familia en una casa bastante moderna. En mi casa hay un salón, una cocina y un comedor abajo. Arriba hay un cuarto de baño y Tres dormitorios. También hay un jardín y un garaje afuera. Me gusta mi casa porque es cómoda. Mi dormitorio es grande. Hay una cama y al lado de la cama hay un armario. Pero la cama está debajo de una estantería. Me gusta mi dormitorio porque es muy bonito. En casa leo libros y me gusta Harry Potter. También veo la televisión en el salón y me gusta Big Bang Theory. Estudio matemáticas, historia y geografía. ¿Y tú? So, what does all that mean in English? Let's go back and I'll read it to you. Hi, my name is Vicky. I have a black cat. I have blue eyes and brown short hair. I am quite tall. I live in Doncaster with my family in a quite modern house. In my house, there is a living room, a kitchen, and a dining room downstairs. Upstairs, there is a bathroom and three bedrooms. Also, there is a garden and a garage outside. I like my house because it is comfortable. My bedroom is big. There is a bed, 
and next to the bed there is a wardrobe but the bed is under a shelf i like my bedroom because it is very pretty in my house or at home sorry i read books and i like harry potter also i watch television in the living room and i like big bang theory i study maths history and geography and you so now i know what some of you are thinking some of you are thinking gosh i can't write all that well you don't have to okay let's take a look at the rubric how we're going to get from nothing which is where we're at now because we've not written anything yet to writing a paragraph about yourself which you can then say to me okay so here's your rubric we've got three learning targets I can devise a short text in Spanish talking about myself and where I live I'm just going to take a sip of a drink learning target two I can give information about my home and what I do there and learning target three I can say what I have written okay so let's take a look at learning target one I can devise a short text in Spanish talking about myself and where I live if you are in beginning I can say my name and where I live okay for developing you have to do everything that's in beginning and add information about your physical appearance and a pet if you have one for secure you have to do everything that's in beginning and developing and then I can give a detailed physical description of myself using adjectives and adverbs and then for excellence I can describe myself in detail using connectives, adverbs, and adjectives. So it's, we're always adding on. That's how we do it. We just add a little bit more to just move through these stages. Let's take a look at learning target two. I can give information about my home and what I do there. So for beginning, I can give a brief description of my house and two things that I do there. For developing, I can name some rooms in my house. Okay, I can say who I live with. I can say two things that I do at home, one with connectives and more information. I can give an opinion. For secure, we can do all that, but instead of saying two things, we're gonna say three things that we like to do at home. And instead of giving more information with connectives about one of them, we're gonna do that with two of them and we can justify our opinions. So not just saying I like something, but saying why I like it, okay? And then finally, <clears throat> for excellence, I can do all of that, but I can say at least two things, okay? Adding connectives and information about all of them. And I can give more than one opinion and justify it. So let's take a look at learning target three. I can say what I have written. So this is where your confidence and your communication comes into play. So for beginning, I can read out what I have written in Spanish. It doesn't need any inflection. You don't need to have a great accent. You just read it to me, okay? For developing, we're going to use a little bit more pronunciation, generally good. So you've got a little bit of a Spanish thing going on there and some inflection. So when you're listening to my voice, you'll hear my voice go up and down. Yeah, that's inflection. So it sounds a little bit more natural. To get to secure, we can do all that. Our pronunciation is good, but now we're reading what we've written at a good pace. So you sound a bit more confident. It sounds a bit more natural. And then finally, for excellence, um, I have confidence when I read aloud in Spanish, I can read at a normal speed, and my pronunciation is very good. Now, what does that look like in practice? Well, here's the paragraph that I wrote, and everything that I've highlighted in red is everything that you would need to do for learning target one, two, one and two, sorry, because I've not actually said it yet, for learning targets one and two for beginning. I can say my name and where I live. Me llamo Vicky. Vivo in Doncaster. That's it. My name is Vicky. I live in Doncaster. Let's look at learning target two. I can give a brief description of my house and two things that I do there. En una casa. 
in a house. So I'm, I'm specifying that I live in a house, not a flat. Okay? And two things that I do there. Leo libros. I read books. Veo la televisión. I watch telly. So if we put it all together for learning target three, I can read out what I have written in Spanish. It might sound like this. Me llamo Vicky. Vivo en Doncaster. En una casa. Leo libros. Veo la televisión. That's it. Job done. If you, if you don't feel confident to go any further than that, that's where you can stop. If you want to push yourself a little bit and go to developing, you need to add some information about your physical appearance and your pets if you have one. So let's see what that looks like. Now I've highlighted in yellow the bits that I've added in for developing. So I need to talk about my pets. Well, I've added in tengo un gato. I have a cat. And I need to give some information about my physical appearance. Tengo los ojos azules. I have blue eyes. Okay, let's go back and take a look at learning target two. I can name some rooms in my house. En mi casa hay un salón, una cocina y un comedor. I can say who I live with. Well, here in this bit where I've talked about living in Doncaster in a house, I've added in this little phrase, con mi familia, with my family, okay? I can say two things that I do at home, one with connectives and more information. Well, here's the two things that I did for beginning, but now I need to add in a bit more information. So to the back of Veo la Televisión, I've added in en el salón, y me gusta Big Bang Theory in the living room. So I don't just watch television, I say where I watch it. I watch telly in the living room. And then I have to give an opinion. Well, here it is. Me gusta Big Bang Theory. I like Big Bang Theory. I've actually given a couple of opinions here. I've also said, me gusta mi casa. I like my house. Okay? I've not said why. I've not said why to either of those opinions but I've given opinions. So that puts me really solidly in developing. Well, what if I wanted to get to secure? For secure, I can give a detailed physical description of myself using adjectives and adverbs. Let's go and see what that looks like. Boom. So now the stuff highlighted in green, and it's a very light green because it's hard to see the writing if the green's too bright. The, the stuff that's highlighted in green is the additional information. So I need to give a more detailed description of myself. Well, let's start with my pet. I've actually given more information about my pet. So I said before, tengo un gato, but now I'm saying I have a black cat. Tengo un gato negro, okay? So simply by adding in that one word to the back of this phrase, I've started moving up from developing to secure. My physical description needs to be more detailed. So on the back of, Tengo los ojos azules, I've ha I have blue eyes, I've added in my hair, y el pelo castaño. So I've used a connective, y, and, and then I've said I have brown hair, el pelo castaño, I have brown hair. I've given even more information, I've said soy bastante alta, I am quite tall. So that's a very detailed physical description. I can describe my house in detail. Well, let's go and take a look at my house description. So you can see here's the original description, en una casa, in a house. I then added in to get to developing some rooms, but now on the back of this phrase, talking about some of the rooms in my house, I've added this word, abajo. So instead of saying, en mi casa hay un salón, una cocina y un comedor, in my house there is a living room and kitchen, and a dining room, by adding the word abajo to it, I've said what's downstairs in my house. Carrying on, arriba, upstairs, hay un cuarto de baño, there is a bathroom, y tres dormitorios, and three bedrooms. También, also, hay un jardín y un garaje afuera. Also, there is a garden and a garage outside. So, I've given quite a lot of detail about my house, okay? 
I need to go on and say three things I like to do. There are two of them with connectives and a bit more information. So here's the two things that I said originally for beginning. Here's the phrase in yellow that I added to give more information. Now I need to add in a third thing. Estudio. I study. And I also need to add on the back of it something else, a bit more information. What do I study? Well, I've said what I study. Matemáticas, historia y geografía. Okay? And then finally, I can justify my opinion. Well, here's that opinion I gave earlier. Me gusta mi casa. Now I've added something onto the back of it. Porque es cómoda. Because it's comfortable. So all we do is take this basic information and by adding a word here or a couple of words there, we suddenly give loads more information. Well, what if you want to get to secure? What if you want to get to secure? I can, or sorry, we're at secure. What if you want to get to excellence? I can describe myself in detail using adjectives, adverbs, and connectives. Well, let's see what that looks like. Oh, so up here is our physical description. I've only added one little thing. So I said originally, tengo los ojos azules y el pelo castaño. I have blue eyes and brown hair. Now I've added y corto. So instead of just saying I have brown hair, I'm saying I have short brown hair. Okay? And literally, just by adding those two words, I've taken Learning Target 1 from secure into excellence because I've given that bit more information. Right, what do we have to do about our house? I can describe my house in detail, including my bedroom. I can say at least that should say three things. I'll change that before I put this video out. I'll change the rubric. So when you look at this in Google Classroom, that will say I can say at least three things that I can do at home. Adding connectives and more information. Well, let's start here. I can describe my house in detail, including my bedroom. And there it is. So let's start with the detail of our house. So here's our original phrase, vivo en Doncaster, en una casa. We then added in con mi familia. I didn't add anything to this for secure because I did that down here where I started talking about the rooms and where they are. But I have added onto the back of this phrase now in blue, bastante moderna, quite modern. So I haven't just said I live in a house with my family, I've now said I live in a quite modern house with my family. And by adding just those two words, we're moving from secure into excellence. Okay, so I also need to give some information about my bedroom. So let's go and find that. And here it is in blue. Mi dormitorio es grande. My bedroom is big. Hay una cama, there is a bed, y al lado de la cama, and next to the bed, hay un armario, there is a wardrobe, pero, but, la cama está debajo, the bed is under, de una estantería, a shelf. So I've given quite a lot of information there about my bedroom, okay? I go on to say, me gusta mi dormitorio. I like my bedroom. Remember, if you want to be accessing secure and excellence, you don't just give your opinion, you say why. And I've said, I like my bedroom porque es muy bonito, because it's very pretty. Right, let's look at the last thing we need to do. I can say at least three things. Remember, I'll change that to three that I can do at home, adding connectives and more information and I can give one, more than one opinion and justify it. We've already seen one opinion and justification. Let's take a look at the three things I do at home with connectives and more information. Okay, so 
leo libros y me gusta Harry Potter and I like Harry Potter. So I've not just said I like to read books, but I've said these are my favorite books. I've also added in también, a connective, in front of Veo la Televisión, which we did all the way back in beginning. And then um, I've added in y tú and you. So I'm asking someone else for their situation, for their opinion. So that's it. That's how we move through beginning, developing, secure, and excellent. It's just by taking little words here and there and putting them all together, all right? If I were going to read this, well, you heard me read it in the beginning. I had inflection, my voice moved up and down, I sounded a little bit Spanish, I paused where there was a full stop or where there was a comma, it sounded very natural, and that's how you access the secure and the excellence band of the rubric for learning target three, which is I can say what I have written. And just like anything, a sport, a musical instrument, in speaking Spanish, the more you do it, the better you get at it. When I first started speaking Spanish, I sounded ridiculous, but I practiced and I practiced and here I am. And now I can speak it very confidently and you can too. You've done things that are a lot harder than this. You just need to think about it. So, you're probably asking yourself, well, where do I get all these words from? They're everything that we've worked on while we've been working from home. But to make things easier for you, I've done a little vocab list and I've color coded it. Okay? So, if you're going to do a uh, beginning, everything you need is right here in red. This is the same color as the rubric. For developing, you need to add in the yellow. Do I need to add in everything? No, a bit here, a bit there. I've labeled everything for you so you can see what they are. We've got basics, we've got pets, we've got opinions, we've got colors, physical appearance, adverbs and connectives, rooms in your house, and then more information about things you do at home. And you've got the Spanish followed by the English, okay? And if you go back and you look at the examples, you can see it's just adding bits in, adding bits in. And mine is just a model. I don't want you to copy what I've written. I want you to come up with your own, okay? It's your original work. And we want to have some pride in it. We want to work with integrity and produce our own work. And we want to produce quality work, okay? So take your time and pick out the words that you need. Then if you want to get to secure, you can move to the green box and add in some green stuff. Now, what do you notice about these words, about this page? What jumps out at you? Think about that for a second while I take a drink. Well, what, what I notice is that most of the language that I'm using is, is in the yellow. Most of the language that we're using is developing. We have the red, the beginning to start us off, but then it's really the developing stuff that we add in that makes it a bit more advanced, a, a bit more challenging. And then we've got a little bit of green to add in. And now you're thinking, well, Miss, where's the blue? What if I wanna go for excellence? Well, that's on the next slide, okay? And same again, it's labeled for you and you've got the Spanish followed by the English. And if I've forgotten a word, silly me, which is entirely possible, if I've forgotten a word, you can just click on the link for SpanishDict.com. It will take you right to that website and you can look up the words that you need. And then finally, at the end, there's a page for you where you can write out your paragraph, just like I did, so that you can tweak it and play with it and think, is that really what I want to say? And you can practice it. Maybe you want to try and do it from memory. So you can practice it, cover it, try and remember it, have another look. Once you've done that, I want you to record yourself just like we did for last week. Now, if you're on a laptop, you can record yourself using your headphones on your laptop, just like I'm doing. Upload it to your drive and share it with me, okay? If you can't do that on your laptop or if you have an iPad or whatever, just use your phone. There's a voice record on your phone and you can just record yourself saying it and email it straight off to me. 
As usual, if you have any questions or you need any support, you can email me at my school email address. I'm going to give you a week to do this because I know it's a challenge for some of you and you need some time to get your head around it, but you can do it. I believe in you, okay? But email me if you need some help. Have a great week and I'll see you next week. Adios!